So safe standing, that is the question. Is it going to be a success at St. James's Park? We've seen it in different grounds away, grounds mainly we're at Anfield where it's worked really well, especially with the, I wouldn't say criticism, but there was caution with uh, the Hillsborough incident, which happened in the, the late 80s. And I think Liverpool as a club were against this to start with, but then I've seen how safe it can be and it can work and it can increase capacity. We, me and Sam actually spoke to it, um, like it. I was going to say a man that he basically knew everything about this. He was he was a specialist in this subject. And he basically said to every area of safe standing, you can get two to one. So you can get an extra person next to you. So you like, sorry, three to two, I should say. But is it ideal for St. James's Park? Because at the minute, safe standing is only going to be happening in the away end. It's not going to be in the home end just yet. So... Is it I is it ideal and are you in favor of it? First of all, that defeats the object, doesn't it? Because the way fans stand automatically. And now they're put up right in the gods and they don't like it. And we're only one of the one of two, I think, Premier League grounds where the fans aren't next to the pitch. Um I think they should be moved anyway, it's just to enhance that atmosphere over the eastern leases, because I think that's a little bit quieter than some parts of the other end of the ground. But I think it's a good thing. And I think it needs to be done safely. I think that's most paramount, definitely. And, you know, you, we've already got it in some sections and where I used to where I sit, stand, where I used to stand when Paul and Kyle were on the channel. So I was in that corner at the top and everybody, there's a good, probably 300, 400 people sing. That's where the, the noise comes from. And then the singing area. So it can be done. And I think that's where the home end of Newcastle should look at that corner first because... There's already 300, 400 people doing it. Liam, is a singing section vital for a football club? Because if you have a singing section, that I think accommodates the safe standing pretty well because they can stand up, they can sing, they can chant, they can cheer, they can boo, they can do whatever they want within reason, obviously. But do you think Newcastle need that? What, a singing section? Yeah, because there's always been, I'm not going to say criticisms, but... I'm going to say debates that this the atmosphere at St. James's Park for some games, not all games, but for some games could be a little bit better. Yeah, I, I think the, the, the singing section would be a, a, a good idea because obviously then you would get a core of people that are just constantly up for singing instead of a small pocket in a section of the ground and then another small pocket in another section of the ground. They can all be as like one. Um, but obviously you want the best atmosphere during the game, because it's generally when the better atmosphere or the team plays better and it pushes them on to play better. So I think, yeah, a singing section in the safe standing section would arguably have to be the same thing. That's that's there's, where there's, there's no point. There's no point having it just for away fans because away fans do it anyway. No, I, I, yeah, but I think you know it's, I mean? it's, like, it's, a, it's a drop. If you, like, it's like, God forbid <laughs> something happens and a fan falls, it's a drop and it's bang. You, you, it's so, a like, trouble. if we go, we go every away game, so we're standing. Every, every fan around you stand that it, it shouldn't be for away fans they're, they're probably be. just doing it because it happens already and they'll have to obviously yeah, they're ticking a box yeah. you know to put it in a section on the home end look I mean we're talking about atmospheres Manchester City is a shocking atmosphere it that is would a... massively improve them by having that next to the away fans because they'll ban, ban are off each other because that ground's well it's empty had it, it's an awful for, for such a successful team it'll help the Premier League and it'll help St James's Park uh, even better and if, even if you wanted to think outside the box, you could just say, do you know what? That area of the ground, uh, the Gallagher East Corner, leave it then. Why don't we just try in the section of the Leases meets the Milburn and prove that area of the ground to that things? There's options you can play around with. I was just going to say, I'll, I'll bring it back to you, Lee, on this. Where is the best place for it? Because I understand the Gallagher Corner, the Strawberry Corner, whatever you want to call it, is a popular singing section, shall I say, because you've got probably, I would say, more die-hard fans. I, I would say the other areas of the other the ground are different types of supporters. They all support Newcastle just as much, but just they just show it in different ways. I suppose. I think. I think the only issue there, it's not that big. And can you, in terms of the strawberry corn, it's not that big. Can you really get safe standing in there? I think you've got to at least trial it. Uh, that, uh, for me, that's the perfect place because the club don't have to do too much, and they already know that area singing. Like when I was in there, I had to stand to see the game. And when you stand naturally, you're more vocal. 
Um, we asked, we asked it, you know, I said, Johnny, um, I don't sing all the time now, whereas I was standing, I was singing all the time. So I think it does also influence where you are on the ground, because if you're the only person who's singing and no one else around you, you kind of feel a bit like an idiot. If you're trying to come on the way, and if no one else is doing it, it's like, uh, cause when you're sat, you don't naturally sing, you don't do you? You may clap and cheer and whatever, but even when there's a goal, what, what's your first reaction when you score? Jumbo. Exactly. You're up celebrating, you're hugging, you're clapping, or in my case, you're filming. Um, but it's natural. So if you had more people doing it, it would it would help 100%. That's a perfect area. Yeah, it'll be really, really interesting. I like get everybody's comments in this because I think it could go really, really well. But it's I think it's finding the right space and the right area and making sure that it's affordable as well for supporters if they want to be there as well because I think that's a big sure, big sure thing. it's gonna be less we, the, you're not sitting are you you're not but I suppose it's all you, you, you've got to see how the club will want to see it would, would the would, actually I think that's a really good question Liam um Liam I should say that yeah I'd like you to answer finally do you think the club will think a safe standing area for home supporters would be a benefit well financially no, no, not financially, just in general. Um, yeah, I, I, I do. I do think the club will see it as a positive. Because, um, like, we're going back to this argument of when well, people do it anyways, and yeah, I think you've seen when people have had letters on the seats before saying if you stand up, you're going to get banned. Or I think it's just it'll just be another ticky box exercise, really, because obviously if people are doing it anyways. And if you can get more people in the ground safely, and it's going to have a it's going to bring more money into the club. And I think if you had like a big section of safe sand, and I think it would be a, an amazing thing to watch and see. And I think the atmosphere would be better. And I think all around uh, it's, it's, I don't see a, a, a bad, <coughs> a bad option or a bad opinion on safe sand. It'd be really, really interesting to get your comments on this video because safe standing has worked at Man City. It's worked at Liverpool. It worked at Spurs when I was there uh, last season when me and they have been at the new Spurs Celtic ground. Is that like doing it? Celtic doing a certain section. So Celtic have the safe standing section where it's got, it's a bit like what war flags. It's got loads of flags, got loads of yeah. demonstrations and uh, that, it, it does build an atmosphere at Celtic Park. It's got one of the best atmospheres in the, in football, you'd argue. Not as good as Newcastle, obviously. Um, but yeah, definitely get that, get your comments in. Is it a good thing? It's a bad thing. Can it improve in terms of stadium attendances? As in, can we get more people into the ground? As in, instead of 52, could it get 55, 56? I, I, I do, uh, sorry to interrupt you, I do feel like it could, some people, it could rub people up the wrong way. If you've been sat there for 20 years and you want to be sat and they've just then decided, say, put it in the Melbourne stand, it could annoy people that they want to be sat down and then they've got to move the seat. So it's going to be interesting to see. This is probably why they're doing it in the away fans first, because and no one's been in that seat for like 20 years they just come every one once a season do you know what i mean exactly so it's a really that's a really really good actually point on regard to that as well but yeah get your comments in on this video if you like what we've been talking about then please hit that like button and if you can subscribe to newcastle fans tv that would be brilliant we'll see you all very soon